Hey, this is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I've got a really fun craftsmanship project behind me that I want to show off today. This is what I'm going to call my house of hidden doors. This is a 1930s remodel we did with Austin architect Hugh Jefferson Randolph. Come on and let me show you this. What you're looking at there is a old fireplace that is going up through a four-sided skylight. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? We're here in the back of this 1930s house, and this is our staircase uh, from the first floor to the second floor, which we added. This was a one-story house before. Look at this beautiful staircase. This is white oak treads. We used the steel uh, detail here for the handrail, and, uh, and a panel design that both Hugh Jefferson Randolph and uh, an architect who works with me, Eric Rouser, worked on together with the client. But this is our first hidden door I wanted to show you. This is hidden in the paneling system. This is an MDF panel, and we were able to hide this closet door in the paneling for this great little storage space for our clients underneath the stairs. We've got a little ball catch under here that holds it closed, so no fancy hardware needed. The only thing we've used, um, a little special here, is some um, sauce uh, style hinges on the inside. And look how easily and beautifully this closes. And when it is shut, you do not know that that closet is there. That's our first one. Let's, let me show you a couple more. A good majority of the house um, has the original shiplap in place. We took this down and reapplied it, but when this house was built in the 1930s, this shiplap was original to the house. This sheathed the walls on both the inside and the outside, so re we reclad a bunch of the walls in this. And then we put some hidden doors. This is actually a hidden door right here. And then we've got another one down this hallway here. I'll open this door for a little bit more light. But uh, this door is our hidden door in this paneling system, which anytime you've got horizontal paneling, it makes it really easy to do a hidden door. And this one jumps into our powder bath right here. Isn't <laughs> that great? Now we use the, uh, my favorite hinges on this one. These are Suget Suni hinges. Nicely adjustable, especially when we're doing a remodel house. You want that adjustment for up, down, in, out. And I've got one more that I really want to show you. This one has a closer on it. Walk with me to the uh, master bathroom in here. This master bath door now, uh, again, the same panelized design. We actually have a uh, uh, semi-hidden, or concealed at least, slider door, floor to ceiling, to shut this bathroom off. But here's our last, more fully concealed door. Again, just a tiny little slit, somewhere between a 16th and an 8th inch slit on this paneling is all you see. And this one opens up into the master toilet area. Isn't that cool? And now this one has some sauce hinges again, but we've got two sauce hinges that have auto closers on this door. So this one's got a bit, a bit of a spring hinge and uh, it's going to spring itself closed and, uh, and be totally flush when you're all done. We love these hidden doors. They are so fun. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And please, if you're considering a new build or a remodel, I highly recommend talking to your architect about doing some features like these hidden doors. They make for a really fun house. We'll see you next time.